If you want to see how to make your Jillio mats a little bit more shiny, then stay tuned. show you guys um, something I just kind of figured out by playing around and y'all can thank me later because basically um, the issue that I had with my Jillio cover has sort of pushed me into exploring a little bit um, because really I don't really have a warranty on it anymore now anyway so I figured I might as well do a couple of things to see if I can elevate how much I like this planner and um, see if it would work for me if it might work for y'all as well so with that being said let me give the caveat that if you have a warranty on your planner and you don't want to void that warranty this might not be a good idea so you know if you know for sure you're going to keep it and there's not going to be any issues down the road then you know maybe you can go ahead and do it but i would proceed with caution so for me i'm going no holds barred because what's the difference <laughs> so what I wanted to show you, and I kind of found this out a little bit, um, just playing with it a little bit since I wanted to um, make it a little bit more shiny. So now what I will say is because I went through like the whole process of mine getting wet and all of that, um, mine has been conditioned with a clear conditioner which does it doesn't make it shiny but it, it does make the texture just slightly different so mine is already going to be a little bit more shiny than what you guys probably have at home um, because I, I use that to try and help me like stretch this leather just a little bit so that I could get it back to where it needed to be now with that being said, once I did that, I kind of realized, oh wow, look at that, it you know, made it shiny. I had another all natural product that I used and it seemed to work really well, but then I figured out um, that the leather absorbed it and it didn't after like two hours, it pretty much looked the same. So I started doing some research and I found another all natural product that people, men in particular, but anybody I, I suppose could um, use for their shoes and they use this for shoe shining. Now, this particular company, I'm not even going to try and say it, um, this particular company has colored ones as well as a completely clear one. So I purchased the clear one, I watched a bunch of videos, um, did a bunch of research and basically figured out that this is one that is um, made a lot for like Italian leather. This is a very high end one. And so let's see, this one doesn't have um, the level of turpentine in, the, in it that a lot of other shoe, you know, stuff does. So, but again, I'm still like proceeding with caution a little bit. The turpentine can cause cracking over long periods of time. So obviously I, I don't want to put like lots and lots, like some people will literally um, heat this up and like brush this stuff on there, but I'm not doing that because that's, that's too much for me. So, but what I wanted to show you was, and again, I'm, I, I say proceed with caution, you know, don't do this at home if, if you know, you're, you're worried, but you can kind of see where I have used it and where I haven't. So I've used it all here and here as well. 
and so you can see see that difference that there it's not a huge shine it's not like the super black matte shine um, but it's pretty darn close and it makes it a lot more close to the original aubergine now um, I did do like I did a test spot underneath here and I did that about I don't know three hours ago or so and you can see it did not dry like the other one did so this one seems as though it's gonna stay in so I wanted to just show you guys what I was doing um, to make me love my planner a little bit more because I prefer it to be a little more soft and supple and a little more shiny so basically literally all I'm doing is putting just a little bit of this like just literally like grease finger and I'm just like putting it on my planner and I just kind of get it all over the spots all right I'll probably fast forward this so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me trying to cover all of this <clears throat> Now it does, um, it does look like it gets a little bit darker, but that will dry and it goes back to its normal color. Okay, now the next ingredient is a horse hair brush. I got this on Amazon for less than $10 and it's super, super soft. And so basically what you do, you put that on it and then you literally just rub it. So it's, it's a lot like shoe shining. Now from what I have red and seen and this one's since it's cheap the hairs fall out of it so yeah whatever I don't care I'll just pick them out after um but from what I've seen like the more friction the more shiny I'm just a little nervous to go like over the top crazy with the friction because again I don't want to kill my planner I just want to make it a little more shiny and look at that so let's see if there's a spot yeah there is okay so you see how shiny it is here and then in here i didn't really get it so see the difference um it's pretty matte right there but fairly shiny here so basically from you know my experience with this particular product um it, it does it does work it does definitely give you a little bit of that shine it stinks a little bit so um you know like i said proceed with caution this area that i had done a few hours ago it dissipated it just was initially when i opened the container up i was like good golly that is stinky so <laughs> but you know i mean this girl's gone through stink and high water and everything else so you know she she could take it now <laughs> so but just so that you guys can see so you can see the shininess there I have not done the front so see the difference shiny not shiny so I'm definitely gonna go over the whole entire planner because I love that I love the shine I want to keep the shine um, for me that that brings me joy and so I'm going with it so I just wanted to kind of pop in and show you guys and like I said you know feel free to give it a shot if you want your planners that are mattes to be shiny and maybe have a little bit more of that less like grippy feel where you feel like they're gonna just like pick up dust like crazy and the fact that these are, you know, they're protectants. Now, 
do your research. I mean, I'm not saying this is the one you have to purchase, but there are a lot of them out there that have high levels of turpentine and you just want to be careful with those because they can break down the leather over time. So you, you really do need to be careful with which ones you use. There are a lot of different ones on the market. This just happens to be the one that I saw the best reviews for and said was, you know, going to be the most closest to being the most natural. And, um, you know, it's used on a lot of really high end leathers. So for me, I was like, okay, that, that will work for me. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me in my videos and along my journey. And um, she's doing good. I know people are kind of curious, you know, how things are going. Yes, a little, a little wonky when empty. I've been filling her up and, um, you know, we're, we're, just, we're going with it. We're, we're moving on. We're not going to keep dwelling in the negative. So, um, so, you know, we're moving forward, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys this and, um, I'm excited. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer, like, and subscribe, and you can follow me on Instagram as well if you would like. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.